the Siberian traps, Russian, Sibirsky air trappy, form a large region of volcanic rock, known as the large igneous province. In Siberia, Russia, the massive eruptive event which formed the traps, one of the largest known volcanic events of the last 500 million years of Earth's geological history, continued for a million years and spanned the Permian-Triassic boundary about 251 to 250 million years ago. The term, traps, is derived from the Swedish word for stairs, trapper, or sometimes trap, referring to the step-like hills forming the landscape of the region, which is typical of flood basalts. Geographical extent. Vast volumes of basaltic lava covered a large expanse of Siberia in a flood basalt event. Today the area covered is about 2 million square kilometers, 770,000 square miles, roughly equal to Western Europe in land area, and estimates of the original coverage are as high as 7 million square kilometers, 2,700,000 square miles. The original volume of lava is estimated to range from 1 to 4 million cubic kilometers. 2400096000 CU me. The area you covered lies between latitude 50 degrees and 75 degrees north and longitude 60 degrees to 120 degrees east. Formation. The source of the Siberian traps basalt has variously been attributed to a mantle plume which impacted the base of the Earth's crust and erupted through the Siberian craton or to processes related to plate tectonics. Another possible cause may be the impact that formed the Wilkes Land Crater, which may have been contemporaneous and would have been nearly antipodal to the traps. This controversial scientific debate is ongoing. The Siberian traps are considered to have erupted via numerous vents over a period of roughly a million years or more, probably east and south of Norisk in Siberia. Individual eruptions of basalt lavas could have exceeded 2,000 cubic kilometers. The presence of extensive tuff and pyroclastic deposits suggests that a number of large explosive eruptions occur during or before the eruptions of basaltic lavas. The presence of silicic volcanic rocks such as rhyolite is also indicative of explosive eruptions. Impact on prehistoric life this massive eruptive event spanned the Permian-Triassic boundary about 250 million years ago, and is cited as a possible cause of the Permian-Triassic extinction event. One of the major questions is whether the Siberian traps were directly responsible, or if they were themselves caused by some other, larger event, such as an asteroid impact. A recent hypothesis put forward is that the volcanism was a trigger that led to an explosion of the growth of Methanosarchina, a microbe that then spewed enormous amounts of methane into Earth's atmosphere. This extinction event, also called the Great Dying, affected all life on Earth, and is estimated to have killed about 90% of all species living at the time. Life on land took at least 30 million years to fully recover from the environmental disruptions, which may have been caused by the eruption of the Siberian traps. Calculations of sea water temperature from Delta 18 measurements indicate that at its peak, the Earth underwent lethally hot global warming, in which equatorial ocean temperatures exceeded 40 degrees Celsius, 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Paleontological evidence further indicates that the global distribution of tetrapods vanished, with very rare exceptions in the region of Pangaea that is today Utah, between latitudes bounded by approximately 40 degrees south to 30 degrees north. The tetrapod gap of equatorial Pangaea coincides with an end Permian to middle Triassic global coal gap that indicates the loss of peat swamps. Peat formation, a product of high plant productivity, was re-established only in the Anisian stage of the Triassic, and even then only in high southern latitudes. Although gymnosperm forests appeared earlier, in the early Spathian, 
but again only in northern and southern higher latitudes. In equatorial Pangaea, the establishment of conifer-dominated forests was not until the end of the Spathian, and the first coals at these latitudes did not appear until the Carnian, approximately 15 million years after their end Permian disappearance. These signals suggest equatorial temperatures exceeded their thermal tolerance for many marine vertebrates at least during two thermal maxima, whereas terrestrial equatorial temperatures were sufficiently severe to suppress plant and animal abundance during most of the early Triassic nickel deposits. The giant Norris Talnac nickel copper palladium deposit formed within the magma condits in the main part of the Siberian Traps. In popular culture, the Siberian Traps, the eruptive episode that formed them, and the contemporaneous mass extinction have been covered in several documentaries, including Animal Armageddon and The Day the Earth Nearly Died. They have also been mentioned in the 2014 Cosmos, a space-time odyssey in the episode entitled Some of the Things That Molecules Do and then even more in-depth in the episode entitled The Lost Worlds of Planet Earth. See also, Deccan Traps, Emation Traps, Vilwi Traps, The Siberian Traps by Richard Cowan, The Siberian Traps Large Igneous Province, Toxic Gases Caused World's Worst Mass Extinction.